Is the United States healthcare system so complex that healthcare interoperability is a fantasy and will never be achieved? Today I'll continue our discussion in part two, speaking about the paper I co-authored with Dr. Bill Daly titled Micro-Identities Improve Healthcare Interoperability with Blockchain, Deterministic Methods for Connecting Patient Data to Uniform Patient Identifiers. Hi, I'm Peter Nickel, healthcare executive passionate about digital innovation and blockchain. I work with companies and company leaders to explore the potential of blockchain for healthcare and establish growth models for multi-sided digital platforms. Today, we'll cover four topics our paper also addresses. First is the new definition of healthcare interoperability. Second, how FHIR gets us a little bit closer. Third, identity matching and how it works. And fourth, exploring trust versus truth for healthcare. Submitted to the ONC Blockchain Challenge, I co-authored with Dr. Bill Daly, a practicing physician and chief of medical information at Golden Valley Memorial Healthcare. Together, we propose solutions to ongoing concerns regarding healthcare interoperability. Our paper titled Micro-Identities Improve Healthcare Interoperability with Blockchain. We're going to talk about some of that today. Our first topic is the new definition of healthcare interoperability. Basic interoperability is an old concept and dates back to the 8th century, 450 years before Homer's Iliad in 400 BC. Society has been struggling for centuries with the idea of combining individual parts or components to create a whole unit. However, interoperability with healthcare only came about in published works 23 years ago, roughly in 1993. More recently, in 2013, HIMSS provided their definition of healthcare interoperability, defined as the ability of different information technology systems and software applications to communicate, exchange data, and use the information that has been exchanged. Anyone that has been a patient knows that there is much more to healthcare interoperability than just software. Unfortunately, the HIMSS definition misses the mark. This definition, while alluring, is incomplete and therefore inaccurate. I'd like to offer my revised and updated definition. Healthcare interoperability is the ability for multiple healthcare ecosystems to work in harmony without unreasonable efforts by the ecosystem producers and consumers. Healthcare has a track record of forgetting the patient. In our definition, we can't be so absorbed in the technology to yet again forget the patient. Interoperability is a societal problem that involves organizations and technology, but not only technology. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, in partnership with the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, ONC, are working to solve the national problem with healthcare interoperability. Recently, ONC and NIST launched a request for papers called the ONC Blockchain Challenge. The ONC is looking to explore the use of blockchain in health IT and health-related research. Healthcare patient data interoperability is a central issue to enable, to enable access, quality, and decrease the cost of care. In an effort to offer solutions to this problem, I co-authored a paper with Dr. Bill Daly titled Micro-Identities Improve Healthcare Interoperability with Blockchain. Together, we explore how to close this gap between providers and, the, and ensure the desire to have accurate patient and medical information for clinical diagnosis. Our second topic today is how the FHIR standard gets us closer to interoperability. The topic of healthcare interoperability affects every patient treated in the United States. In 2012, that accounted for about 930 million visits. The ONC Blockchain Challenge gets the nation thinking about solutions, not only expounding on the problems. Our paper on micro-identities dives into how this new healthcare ecosystem will interoperate. Global experts in bioinformatics believe solutions exist, and we as a society can't stop searching for them. Gil, a Harvard medical professor, has a great perspective on interoperability and the patient. To read about, more about Gil's comments, please click on the CIO article below. Our paper describes HL7 FHIR's flexible framework with the ability to support mobility, mobile health, social media, personal health records, public health, payment systems, and clinical research. Leveraging this framework for integration between providers is straightforward. The HL7 FHIR standard is fast to learn, faster to de develop, 
and even faster to implement. The framework is also free. It does not involve proprietary software or additional adapters to function. Our paper highlights that while the specification is comprehensive, it does, however, have some gaps that are evident during, during healthcare implementations. The HL7 FHIR specification will soon be completed and implemented by major EMR vendors, supported by the Argonaut project. At that time, each healthcare entity will have RESTful interfaces to information they choose to make available to trusted partners, again accessible through HL7 FHIR servers. However, specific gaps exist in locating the appropriate server, obtaining entity trust, and requesting co-created patient information at the point of care. Patient demographics such as date of birth, gender, country, postal code, ethnicity, and blood type may be slightly different due to multiple factors, and ensuring acquisition of correct data is a challenge. Identifying the patient correctly is essential to care. Blockchain technology has the potential to address these gaps. Novel methods for identity verification in shared health events, event transactions between identities can help. This will advance healthcare stakeholders towards complete solutions. HL7 FHIR provides a needed standard for the clinical sharing of patient medical information. However, the challenge of matching patient identities between facilities remains, remains unsolved. This is exactly what our paper tackles. Today in our third topic, we will explore identity matching throughout the paper. Bill and I will also discuss matching patient identities at Golden Valley Memorial Healthcare in a condition referred to as high sensitivity and low specificity. Bill's expertise here as a respected and active practicing physician was essential in developing this section to align into clinical settings. Sensitivity refers to a test ability to designate an individual with disease as a positive. A high sensitivity test means that there are also new false negative results and thus fewer cases of the disease would be missed. The, specific, the specificity of a test is its ability to designate an individual who does not have a disease as negative. This becomes kind of complex and for additional information on this and the processes with our detailed results, Please reference our paper directly. This experiment inspired a data test at a small hospital in Missouri using real patient data. Golden Valley Memorial Healthcare is a small 50 bed rural healthcare facility. And interestingly, this facility has two separate yet highly patient concordant electronic medical record systems, one for inpatient and a second for ambulatory, making this facility ideal for this type of analysis. When the experiment started, each EMR contained approximately 70,000 to 90,000 records. So how does this patient matching work again? Allow me to explain. The result was that John, a sample patient, was verified. The only data the receptionist could view was an option to select the date of the visit. Once this selection was made from a list of matching locations, they would appear in a drop-down box. The receptionist performed a verification allowing all available data to be immediately pulled from all encounters at that facility. And this sparks a cascade from fire inquiries on the patient John. What's accomplished by this method? This process locks down healthcare interoperability for, by aligning the patient identity, confidentiality, integrity, and accessibility resulting in better patient outcomes. Our fourth topic is exploring trust versus truth for healthcare. A quick look at security for your health. Today we'll look into one of three research pr propositions explored in our paper, trust versus truth. At some point, virtually every healthcare system will be compromised. Healthcare leaders have a duty to independently verify the integrity of their healthcare systems. Today this is done by adding new security components into the environment. For example, new virus protection software, adding hard or soft firewalls, updating virtual private networks, and the like. The fundamental assumption in these decisions to patch security gaps with hardware or software assumes that components will not be compromised. It's troubling that when transmitting data, it's actually not possible to determine if new or old components have been compromised. Now with blockchain, healthcare system administrators can now prove the healthcare data has not been compromised. This is accomplished by establishing data authenticity, 
with chain of custody using, utilizing blockchain technologies. The keyless signature infrastructure is designed to provide scalable digital signatures based on authentication for electronic data, machines, and humans. Every healthcare data transfer can be captured and timestamped, creating proof of, of authenticity and restoring truth into our healthcare system. This paradigm shift offers data integrity and visibility, previously unheard of, moving healthcare towards transparent truth, not trust. Keyless signature infrastructure can resolve the lack of consistent methods for conducting patient matching and decrease the occurrence of out-of-date and incorrect patient matching errors. Leveraging keyless signature infrastructure can prevent man-in-the-middle attacks. A man-in-the-middle attack is where a process is a process where a user gains unauthorized access to communications between two parties, two parties who believe they're directly communicating with each other. When applied to healthcare, man-in-the-middle attacks can alter valid patient matches, resulting in unauthorized users consuming data for unknown potential nefarious purposes. One example could be the manufacturing of, quote, no matches found. Despite the availability of actual valid matches present, HeLa signature infrastructures help to ensure data integrity, authenticity, protecting the patient. Healthcare can utilize blockchain technology to provide a nationally shared healthcare resource. As the paper Micro Identities Improve Healthcare Interoperability with Blockchain suggests, this resource will enable, enable patient identity matching, identity linking, redundant connectivity, and the retrieval of specific patient data to and from any EMR. Using blockchain technologies in healthcare settings will represent a significant accelerator for healthcare interoperability. For additional information, please click on the links below to download our paper directly or view my CIO article. I hope you found today's video beneficial. Please stay tuned for future topics. Thanks.